Good morning everybody happy monday welcome back to a new vlog i think this is gonna be like a little two-day vlog it's like 12 30 already um but i have spent the whole freaking morning working because obviously i had my half yesterday i'm feeling so sore actually i'm not feeling like i'm normally sore like just like a typical half sore um but i have a really bad headache and i swear there's like nothing worse than when you wake up with a headache it's it's the worst but anyways um yeah it was kind of a little bit of a no it wasn't really chaotic but just like had things this morning brought the car in for servicing our car dealership is like i don't know two miles away so typically i'll drop it off and then i'll walk back with stella so that's what we did and i had this like dream of you know grabbing a coffee at the coffee shop next door and having like a hawk or a walk but i had the worst headache that like all i wanted to do was come back home and be in the dark so i did that and then at like 10 i mustered the courage to get back out of bed and work so i edited the weekly vlog that went up today i edited my book video for tomorrow and then i still just have my video to edit for thursday which is like my mid-year reset so i'm on a roll but i honestly need a break and i was like oh i'm gonna go get a coffee and get groceries and then i realized i don't have my car so um it should be done soon though like it was just an oil change i don't think it should take that much longer and i dropped it off at eight and it's 12 30 so excited because a magic spoon package just showed up which is the best cereal in the world typically a cereal gal but this stuff literally slaps and it's so yummy they sent us a pr package i want to say last year and they didn't ship to canada at the time they just like sent it to us but now they shipped to canada which is awesome so i got the like pick four so the first one i got is maple waffle and they are zero sugar, four carb, 13 gram protein. So they're considered, I think, keto. Um, and I really, really love them. You guys know we try and watch our sugar intake and these are super yummy. And the ingredients are honestly also very, very clean on this. Uh, then we got the fruity one, which is so yummy. It just tastes like Fruit Loops. This one is my favorite. It's the chocolate one. And then another new one that we got is cinnamon roll, which hopefully will taste like cinnamon Cheerios. That's my favorite. So cute little package from Magic Spoon. And honestly, I've just been sitting here checking my watch to make sure that my car's not ready yet. <laughs> Hi friends, little update for you guys. It's currently 3.30. My car's still not ready, which is kind of weird because I was the second car there this morning for an oil change and I had an appointment. And the last time I went, it took like an hour and a half, two hours. And so it's fine. Life doesn't go according to plan sometimes. Like, what can you do? I think it was kind of meant to be for me to have a relaxing day. So I'm just waiting. But at this point, if they call me, I'm just going to wait for Matt to get home because he's home in an hour. And then he can drive me to the dealership down the road, pick up my car, bring it home, and then we will go do groceries together, which is so fun. The update video, I'll give you guys some like our tips and tricks on saving money on groceries. It's nothing crazy and spectacular. We just don't eat organic and we are creatures of habit with food and we buy food on sale. That's it. And we don't like overbuy. So I basically just gave you all the tips there, but I'll go like more in depth in the video. Um, but I just emptied the fridge and stuff. Like I threw away anything that was bad, which we didn't have much of because our fridge was pretty empty, but I'll show you guys that. And yeah, Matt should be home in an hour and then we'll go, like I said, to Walmart and to Costco. Just had some cinnamon raisin toast because that's all we have. I just stepped on a bone and I'm drinking a Diet Dr. Pepper. That's my update. I just spent two hours doing color by number, paint by number. But anyways, that's my update for you guys. I'm gonna wait for Matt to get home. We'll go get my car, we'll do groceries. I'll give you a haul, I'll give you prices. And I can't wait to have food in my house, honestly. I can't wait. Just cleaned out the fridge before doing groceries. Look how sad and empty it is in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at over here. We don't even have like milk or anything. But it's a sad, sad time in this fridge. Hopefully we can replenish it. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to show you guys this, but I got Matt the cutest pins in the mail the other day from a pin trading group. Look, it's like an astronaut Mickey and Minnie. Isn't that like right up Matt's alley? I think it's so cute. I'm pretty sure they're from Disneyland Paris because it's in French. But how stinking cute. All right, guys, a little fit check. We're on the same outfit. I just threw up this, I just threw on this linen top over top just because I'm really burnt. And I have my coach bag and I have my new shoes. I'm only wearing them in the house because they haven't been outside yet. I don't understand how people wear shoes in their house. Is that an American thing? Can someone comment? Because people in Canada don't do that. Let me know. I'm very curious. But we're gonna go to Costco and pick up my car because it's ready now. And let's do it. I'll give you guys a haul when we get back. I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera with me though. I'm so sorry, okay? All right. 
Okay guys, we're home. I'm gonna do a really rapid fire grocery haul because it's 6.30 and we still haven't gone to get my car yet. Costco, everything's from Costco except I'll show you the Walmart stuff at the end. Blueberries, um, a big thing of chicken salad so we can make sandwiches on the brioche buns, cucumbers, yogurt for Matt, tacos, you know, you know. Um, Classico tomato and basil pasta sauce, a big thing of organic strawberries. They finally had the big thing of Zevia, which includes the new root beer, which is super exciting. So we got that. Matt got a ton of stuff for his bachelor weekend with his buddies. So I'm not gonna show you guys that. Then we have prosciutto, some Dutch cookies, dill pickle salad, peppers, nan bread, cliff bars, mixed nuts, bananas, Havarti cheese, more yogurt, another mixed nut. That's Matt's favorite one. Spicy dill pickle chips. And then from Walmart, we got hot dogs, not healthy. Um, and then Ben and Jerry's was on sale. So we got the brownie batter core and half baked, our protein milk. They didn't have coffee creamer, which is fine. Chicken and rib sauce, milk bones for Stella. Once again, they didn't have any espresso pods. So I just got the regular coffee ones to try and then frozen mango chunks. So we're gonna put everything away. That's our giant haul. I'll put, I'll take as a price after. I don't really remember what it was. It's not cold either. Root beer. Costco tacos always hit, no matter what the occasion is. Are you having a normal Coke? I thought you were having a Zevia Coke. No, because they're not warm. Good morning, guys. You're on a cliff bar. Peep my Haunted Mansion shirt. This is literally the best shirt I've ever bought in my life. But I'm going to make myself a little morning cold brew. I just made some cold brew last night at French Press. Honestly, I woke up today and I was so excited to have groceries. You guys see what I mean now about like needing a little bit bigger of a cup for coffee? Because this is just good for coffee. But then I also made cold foam. So it's like I'm kind of running out of room, you know? But this, I'll show you guys the coffee I used in a second. I think it's Joffrey's. I don't know. Okay, I don't know how much to do because I did make a little cold foam this morning. Oh my god. That is such beautiful cold foam. Wow, she is so beautiful. It's truly the little things. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Wow, I am so excited about this. But, okay, this is the current coffee situation. We still have all of these like little individual ones, but this is the one I used today. The Joffrey's s'mores were out of Joffrey's Shake and Jamaican. So yeah, that's what I used today, the s'mores one. Super yummy. Hello, good morning. The lady in here is always so hit or miss, but 7.47. I've got this beautiful, beautiful coffee. And I'm just sitting down to do some finance stuff for work because I got a brand payment overnight. I thought I just need to like put it into my uh, QuickBooks and stuff and allocate where the money's gonna go. And then I also have our Costco receipts because um, the whole reason we went to Costco yesterday was because Matt's going to a bachelor party this weekend for his cousin and he was in charge of bringing like breakfast and stuff and there's obviously gonna be like eight men so it made more sense for us to just go to Costco and get stuff. So um, I told him that I would pay for the groceries this week because he's paying for like the bachelor food which is like a grocery bill in itself. So I'm just gonna highlight everything in my, oh I keep forgetting I moved my highlighters. Then I'll be able to tell you guys how much our grocery bill was. So. PRB. Guys, our Costco haul yesterday for just our stuff was $271.17. But Costco is, oh no, I forgot something again. No, I didn't, technically the bug sprays for us. But I think we got a lot, the thing with Costco is it adds up so fast and it's always like pricier stuff. Like our thing of Zevia was $21, which is like a really great deal, but like $20 adds up really quick. Same thing with, we got beef. Um, so that's a good example of us buying meat and freezing it. So we got a huge thing of stewing beef and it was $31, but it made five meals for us. So it's costing us $6 per meal for beef, which is really good. We got bug spray for $21.99, cliff builder bars for $20.99, mixed nuts for $20, chicken salad for $15, tacos for $16. Like it adds up so quick. And then I'm pretty sure at Walmart we spent 60 something dollars. So, um... We were really under budget for May groceries because obviously it's still May. It's actually May 31st. So I'm kind of I'm kind of not sure where I'm going to put this. If I'm going to put it in May or if I'm going to put it in June. I guess I'll put it in May because I kind of still have room. But 
yeah that is the update on how much the groceries cost in case you're curious i know americans are gonna be like wtf because i feel like groceries are so much cheaper in the u.s but I guess it is what it is. I have some exciting things happening today. Um, my new Calyx is coming today. I got the bigger one to put here just to fill the space up a bit more. So we're going to put that together. Which is why I always say have a home renovation fund. Or like just like a home spending account. Because Ikea stuff is always out of stock. And then when it comes back in stock you can just buy it. And not worry about the money. Which is great. And then I think my big airy package is coming today. Which I'm so excited about. Because I have something really exciting in there to try. And I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, but it's gonna be okay. And obviously, I mean, I say this with every haul, but like, I'm not keeping everything that I got. Like, that would be too much. So, work is usually busy on Tuesdays, like I said, because I don't work Fridays and Mondays. And cheers! I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Alrighty, guys, I just cleared the space out before I started work. Um, I moved the Calyx. I'm really not sure what we're gonna do with it. Originally, I was just gonna put it in the closet, but. We'll see. And then the plan is to actually empty this out and put all my books in the new calic because I ordered, I ordered a second, I ordered a second metal hanger from the same company so I can put it on this side so that they're like even and I still have a ton of metals in a box. Alrighty guys, I just took my lunch where I'm still on my lunch. I just mean I took self for a walk. Look at this fat breakfast sandwich I just made looks so good it has two eggs prosciutto cheese i had a bowl of magic spoon earlier but okay guys my airy stuff just got here let's let's just not even talk about my hair it's it's annoying the shit out of me we're just not talking about it okay i'll give you guys like an overview of everything i got first and then i'll try it on yeah i will like this more than i thought but this all started because everyone and their freaking mom has like a jumpsuit you guys know my belly is like my problem area like I got a bit of a pooch K okay? she's got a uterus like I never thought these things would look good on me but I decided to get one just to see just just to see so I got the airy one because I liked that it was well first of all I didn't know it but now that I'm happy that it's ribbed and I did get it in a large um, I wasn't sure what size to get because I'm a medium on the bottom and a large on top so I got a large I'd rather be like a little big than too small so I, this is what started the whole airy haul was this little jumpsuit that I'm terrified to try on. Okay, as we all know, I got those running shorts and I literally loved them. And I thought it would make a really cute set. You guys know I got that one shoulder one and it did not work out. It was so boobalicious. It wasn't even funny. Like you could literally see my nipple like through this sports bra. It was like the worst quality ever, which is shocking for Ari. But I saw that they had this one. It's just like a racer back. It's kind of more of a bralette, honestly. So I thought it was a fun color and I'd pick it up and try it on. However, these shorts are obviously in the wash because I ran my half in them. But it's really soft. So I'll try this on for you guys after. I thought this would look cute, honestly, even just with some sweatpants. And you know, the shorts, I did pick them up in black because that's how much I love them. So I'm obviously going to keep these. Um, I really did like these for like short distance running or even just like lifting at the gym. These are my holy grail now. And then these are interesting. A subscriber commented on my video, which if it was you, thank you so much for letting me know. And told me to try the smocked running shorts, which by the way, can we just talk about this color? Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to like this. Like I don't think I could run in them because I think this would definitely irritate my stomach. But they look really cute and high-waisted and I just thought that they'd be super cute for summer. And once again, they have the short in them with a freaking phone pocket. So I'm really excited about these. I got both. I picked up this, which I don't know what the stitch will be like on this. It feels like Lululemon quality, honestly. It feels like an Align tank that's not as booby. It's just like a racerback black little bralette tank top because um, I love my Lululemon Ebb to Train cropped tank top. You guys know I wear it like literally every day. Like If you see me in a cropped black tank top, that's it. And I just want to preserve it. Uh, so I got this and it's just like literally a little racer back thing and you guys will see what I'm going to pair it with. Just like a good little basic with these cutie little shorts. I've been wanting a pair of sweat shorts for so long. I had a pair from Princess Polly from a haul I did with them last year but they were way too big on me even when rolling them up so I had to give them away. But these are just like a pair of sweat shorts. I know Old Navy also has some good ones. I saw Brittany Dunford talk about them but... These are cute. We'll try them on and the band is thick enough. I can roll them if I need to. Got these in a medium as well. This was straight up an impulse purchase. Like I'm not even gonna lie. I don't need this and I, I should probably return it, but it is really cute. It is their like, I think it's called like a beach super lightweight hoodie. 
and it's just like really oversized and to be honest all of my hoodies are very heavyweight for winter so i thought that this would be maybe nice like in the morning it's still like a little chilly out um these are very oversized i mean pretty much all of aries stuff is oversized so i did size down to a medium for this but um yeah so anyways let's try everything on and see what we think i'll probably try everything on with these sweatshorts but yeah so all i literally have the worst burn ever but i'm 100 percent returning this I already knew that this wouldn't work for me because of my hips. Like, I just knew it. Um, honestly, it does suck you in. So, like, if your gut is your issue, like, I mean, it sucks me in pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Also, this, this is where your uterus is. This, this is not an issue, okay? Don't let society tell you that your little pooch is an issue because it is literally housing a uterus. But I just feel like it's not flattering here. You know what I mean? So, honestly... If you think it is, rock it. I'm not telling you not to do it. I'm just saying for me, I don't really feel confident in this. So it's a no from me, sadly. Tank top I absolutely love. Will be keeping it. It's like exactly what I wanted. Something just quick to throw on. The shorts, I'm not too sure about them. I think they're a little long, which is weird because I'm super tall. Unless I fold them like this. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely gonna keep the top though like it's for sure exactly what i wanted they're cute uh the only thing is i would never wear like cropped tank top with this i don't think so i'm not sure how i feel about them but once again like airy shorts are hella flattering they're actually really decent length even though i'm 5'11 like i'm really impressed um they're really cute on alrighty guys and then this is the pink top which i think i'm gonna return because this like little thing which you can barely even see but like this weird fabric gathering right here i don't like it honestly <laughs> i don't think it's cute i think the fabric kind of gathers weird okay guys i put the shorts on with a normal shirt because that's what i would wear it with and i think i'm gonna keep them because honestly they are really cute and if i have this like tucked in i really like the color of them so i think i'm gonna keep these as well so I'm keeping half the stuff, which is pretty good. She's like, Mom, I left my stick in my backyard. I'm just hanging out in my backyard, guys. This is really the content that people of the internet want. So I will just do a little roll. Shake, shake, shake. Hi! What are you doing? Where's your, where's your treat? Sawa, what do you see? Oh, you're such a pretty girl. What's for dinner, Chef Matthew? It is the delicacy. Oh, you can take the camera. Which is <laughs> do, 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 transition, transition. Do, do, do. It is barbecue, and we are having steak and potatoes with onions. Y'all jealous? Oh, here you go again. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> Why is it? Oh, I was like, why is it to Zika? But it's not a bad idea. It's pretty cool, actually. Perfect dill pickle salad. Matt would just like everyone to know, in case you're curious on how to have a really good marinated chicken, the key is to what is it? Keep yeah. saucing it. Just keep saucing. Keep saucing. Don't stop. That's how you're gonna have good chicken breasts. I don't usually like chicken breasts because it's dry, but this is probably gonna be delicious. It's Matt's turn to pick a movie. And the movie of choice tonight. Honor of going to see his new the new one tomorrow. Yeah. I'm sure that my dad probably watched it, you know, like on the living room when no one's paying attention. Dad's always got a movie on. Yeah. Good morning everyone. Happy Wednesday. I'm a sleepy girl today. It's the last day of the vlog. But it's okay because I'm starting a new one tomorrow. But good morning guys. Um uh, my hair is all natural right now so let's just not even talk about it okay okay it's raining as you can hear not a good time honestly but it's 7 50 i am obviously at the hospital working today um yeah i've said this before i say it in like every video but i like to do a half day on site on wednesdays just to like break up the week and um there's just like certain things i can't do through my vpn at home that i can only do at the hospital so um it's june 1st so i have like a decent amount of uh deadlines and stuff for just like doctors and stuff because i oversee a lot of the hr components of our department so yay 
I splurged and got myself Starbucks this morning because I really cannot get out of bed. So, cheers to that. So, I got a grande nitro and a venti cup with milk, add ice, and a pump of caramel. It's like my go-to nitro order because I like it to have ice in it. So, cheers to that. My Calyx is up for delivery, so we'll be able to build that after work tonight. And what else? I think that's it. Matt's going to see Top Gun tonight. So we're gonna have a chill night at home, a little wine Wednesday, watch some vlogs. But I'm going to go into work and obviously get some work done, <laughs> duh. And cheers, happy Wednesday. Um, oh, also, do you guys remember when I bought this last week for coffee? I literally use it for water. It's my new emotional support water bottle. Good morning, hello. Do you guys remember this shirt? If you're an OG subscriber, you would remember this shirt from the old work vlogs back when I was a clerk. But I'm gonna go inside now and I will talk to you guys when I'm going home for lunch. We are home, we're gonna go see a puppy. Are you seeing there's a puppy right here? She's so excited! Stella! Guys, Stella literally never ate shoes until she turned two. I'm not even kidding you. Stella, daddy's gonna be so mad. Those are his favorite shoes. Why did you eat the shoe, Stella? Can't pretend like my dog's perfect. She just ate the shoe. Stella, what is this? Why did you eat this shoe, this bad girl? She knows, look, she knows she's in trouble. That's a bad girl. Bad Stella. No eating shoes. We're home and I'm attempting an afternoon coffee. I've got some milk. It's kind of like a latte because I only did a five ounce coffee, but I don't have any espresso. I have ice in here and hope that this works and then pour our coffee on top that has our collagen in it. <laughs> See, so it's like kind of a latte. Like, mix it. Okay guys, I'm obviously home now. It's 1.30. Um, yeah, my commute home is like 15 minutes and then depending on the day, I'll either take self for a 30 minute walk or 15 minute walk. I know I explain this every week, but I just want everyone to be aware I'm not vlogging when I shouldn't be. Um, but today it's rainy, so I took her for like a 15 minute walk and then I just like scarfed down that food. So I have like 15 minutes to chill, which is nice, but I'm just drinking my little coffee. I just changed some comfy clothes. My Calyx just got here, which is exciting. So as soon as I'm done work, I'm gonna put that together. And then tonight we're gonna have a pretty chill evening. I am gonna relax and unwind and probably just read because we are like spontaneously um dog sitting or puppy sitting she's still a puppy for our friends that are getting our friends that are getting married this weekend we're actually puppy sitting for them when they go on their honeymoon in a few weeks but i guess i don't know if they didn't have someone to watch her for the wedding but anyways so we're actually puppy sitting now from thursday to saturday so tomorrow to saturday so i'm super excited about that uh so i want to just have like a relaxing evening matt's going to see top gun and yeah but my calyx is here i'm super excited because i just had an amazon package show up because i have so many books that i want to annotate and i don't know how and i just decided to go for it so that's also why i like physical books over kindle books like that's why i typically will buy books like if I read something on my Kindle and it's like a five star for me, like One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid, for example, I'll buy the physical book because I want to annotate it. So I ordered these on Amazon, which I can link. They're so pretty. They're just a ton of sticky tabs. And a lot of people will color coordinate their annotations based on the cover of the book. So that was fun. There's so many pretty colors. And then I personally am someone who, like I'm totally okay to write in my books because they're my books, of course. But I picked these up just in case. And they are basically, which I thought these could also come in handy for work. And they are just, I don't think you can tell, but they're just clear sticky notes. So my camera battery is gonna die. So I'm gonna head back to work and then I'll vlog after work when we put together the Calyx, but I, I need to go. you guys see how sweaty i am oh my god that was like literally a workout but it is done she is beautiful and now we're gonna put it down clean up oh what is my hair doing i don't know if i'm gonna organize my books today that's what is this i'm gonna set it down and then put my books or like kind of figure out what i want to do with my books match me home soon
Good morning! So today I kind of want to do an organizing my fridge vlog because I woke up this morning and I was like, this morning, ordered Uber Eats and I thought that we could organize the fridge today. Just make it look cute, make it look aesthetic. I have my coffee. Let's put it in the fridge first and then we can start organizing because everything's in the bags. Alrighty guys, here it is. I think it looks so good. Everything on top is... Well, for the most part, red besides like some of my Sarah J Moss books. And then the bottom is my whole TBR. I think, like I said, I'm going to do a whole like what's on my physical TBR video. I think that would be good. They're just organized by genre. So these two are like my all-time favorite romances and thrillers. This is historical fiction and fantasy and one Taylor Jenkins read book. And this is like miscellaneous. And then this is all like my TBR. And now I have like so much room on top, which is nice. I don't really honestly want to put the printer back up here because... <laughs> It was kind of ugly, but we'll see. Um, and then these are just like super, super new releases or books I really want to read this month. Like I said, I'm going to do a whole like what's on my physical TBR because your girl's got a lot of books. It literally just started pouring out of actually nowhere. So that's fun and fresh. Okay, guys, we just got a package from Don't Mind How I Look. I just put that thing together, okay? I'm a beast. Okay, you gotta come here. Come here. Okay, now sit. This is for Subway. You got a package. It's from Open Farm. It's for you. There are treats for some of me. I mean, mommy did pay for it, but you did get the package. Comes <laughs> to your pet, you can't care too much. So if you guys don't know, this is obviously not sponsored, but Open Farm has a ton of kibble, supplements, uh, treats. Anyways, we ended up grabbing, <laughs> she's so excited, um, a bunch of the bone broths because to be quite honest, like Stella's our only child. And Matt and I were saying the other day, can you sit please? Can you sit and mom will give you a treat? Okay, here. I'm gonna give her a treat in the morning. Explain. Ooh, these are for Stella. These are just like some little beef treats. Do you want to try one? Oh my god. Does that smell so that was so gentle? Wow. Oh yummy. Okay, only one treat for now, okay? We got their it's like a trial pack of all of their bone broths because Matt and I were saying it kind of like must suck to be a dog and just get like dry kibble all the time. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe we just care too much about our dog. So um, we obviously do like coconut oil in the morning. Um, and before we were doing like a little bit of wet food for her just to make it more fun. But um, Michelle Reed talks about Open Farm all the time. I literally used her discount code. And um, I think in the last year they've come to Canada. So I'm really, really excited. So we got three different ones. And I'm really, really pumped. So Look how cute the box is. And then here it says, we wish we could see your pet's face when you see what's inside. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we got this three pack of bone broth to put on her kibble. So we got a beef one, a turkey, and a chicken. And then I just got her some of these dehydrated treats, which she's like clearly just like eyeing. Oh, wow, that was a big yawn. You just want more treats, huh? No more right now, okay? But super, super cute. Yeah, we paid for this with our own money, but I would love to work with them. Oh, cool. If you guys want like a little coupon, I was actually thinking about getting her the hip and joint supplements. What do you want? You think I'm going to give you more tweets? No, not right now. Okay, you can have more later. Alrighty, this is the current situation. I think it looks really, really good. I might put like a little candle there or something. I don't know, but I figured this book should be out on display because it did cost me like $60 to be quite honest with you. So She deserves a home. This is obviously a work in progress, but I decided to make this like a little reading nook because honestly the space is just like empty. So I put the bookcase back in here with just some like extra books that are like more like Matt and I's or our classics and stuff. So it's like a little reading nook. And then okay, this is so chaotic because I have so many returns to do, but then I just moved the spin bike over here, which like, does it look great? No, but it doesn't really matter because eventually down the line, we will just have a bed right here and then that can like go in one of the corners but this will obviously be a real guest bedroom down the line so that's the update hope you guys are enjoying it and now i need to bring all of this downstairs i also haven't even shown you guys where we put the calyx so we ended up sticking it okay first of all what that this is me being messy i'm so sorry hold up let me make that more aesthetic um we put it in here because originally you guys know we had all the containers up here and they were just like really hard to reach so i think it looks really good here and this used to be on the floor and it was such a pain to bend over so i think it's a good placement for now to be honest and then we just have like all of our shoes up here so yeah that's exciting 
also just potted the flower that Matt got me finally, which is great. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog off. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow because I'm gonna pick the camera right back up. And I hope you guys have a great night.